Hello. Today we will be using the detective analogy to analyze this famous image. The detective analogy consists of three levels of questions. At the first level we will simply gather evidence by listing and describing concrete pieces of information from the image. The second level we will interpret evidence and use the information gathered at the level one to prove our interpretations. Third, we will speculate about the image, thinking about the author's claim, bias, and perspective. We will also make some predictions about the content in the Im image. Level one, we will consider the different groups, the types of animals, the types of technology, and the physical features. Here are the different groups. This can con be considered one group. Here is another. Here is a third and a fourth. Let's now consider the pieces of technology. Anything being held in the hands of this group can be considered technology. What this animal is pulling. Here is also another major piece of technology as well as this. Next, we will consider the physical features. Simply describe in a word or two what you see right here, what you would call this, and how would you describe the central content in terms of geographic features. Next, we will continue with level one questions by looking at the woman in closer detail. We'll describe what she's holding in her hand, the direction she is facing, and the difference in lighting in front of and behind her. She has two things in her hands that we want to consider. Here's one, and here's the second. Also, consider this. You can simply use a compass rose to figure out what direction she is facing. Now, let's look at the lighting in front of her and compare it to the lighting behind her. Simply describe the difference this will become important later when we speculate about the image. Level two, let's interpret the evidence and use the evidence from number one questions to justify our interpretations. What time periods are represented? What locations are represented? And what are the motives of the people moving west? When you consider the time periods, think about the technology that you listed in the previous level to give you a time range for this image. Second, for the location of this image or locations, think about the geographic features. And third, for the motives of the people moving west, think about the different groups and their possible professions. Now we will move on to the third level, where we will speculate about this image. These questions include which groups would view the floating woman in a favorable manner, which groups would not like this woman, what is the artist's claim, and what do we think Manifest Destiny is based on this image. Consider what groups in this image would have a favorable view of this woman and why. Also consider what groups would not have a favorable image and why. What does the artist think about Manifest Destiny? Consider the fact that Manifest Destiny is represented by a floating woman carrying certain things in her hand. Also consider the lighting when you write about this answer. These clues will also help you come to an understanding of what Manifest Destiny is. Good luck.